they may take our lives. But they'll never take our caramel cops! Due to an overrun on tonight's edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, programmes here on UTV are currently running 11 minutes later than advertised. So the sketch show now begins at 23 minutes past 11, and the late extended edition of the Premiership now comes to your screens just after 10 minutes to midnight. Those programmes after the ITV Weekend News, coming up next. I think Kenneth loved in the early days the public acclaim that he got from the Carry On films because he was a terrible show off. He was trapped in his own success. He became the character that people wanted him to be. I usually have the blow wave. Yes, well, I'm no good at that, sir. The unforgettable Kenneth Williams, Sunday at 10 on UTV. Welcome to paradise. Now you can see why we've had so many offers on this place. Come upstairs. Now, don't say anything. I know what you're thinking. Imagine the possibilities if you will. Hell shower. Well, it will be once you get it plumbed in. There's the way up. That's it, Luce. Have a look. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. By the time you get your double glazing in, you'll never hear them. That's lovely, isn't it? Eh? Absolutely gorgeous. Now, there are three ways to find what you want. The book, the phone, or the net. Whatever you want. Just yell. Thou shalt have a fishy on a little dishy Thou Delicious chunks of pink salmon with pasta and mixed vegetables in a basil and sun-dried tomato butter. Cooking time, six minutes. Enjoyment time, endless. Youngs make fish the dish of the day. That's why the lady is the tramp. That's why the Lolo, good for life. Sports Factory Fire Damage Sale now on open seven days, 12 to 5 p.m. Up to 60% off trade prices while stocks last. Sports Factory Belfast. New Bugles. The cone-shaped, crispy, crunchy corn snack. So tasty and moorish, everyone will want to get their hands on them. Of course, your only problem is making sure you've got enough. New Bugles. More is better. Feeling drab with the same old hair colour? Discover new Garnier Lumia, enriched with flower extract, low in ammonia, infusing hair with light enhancing colour. Permanent, yet subtle. Garnier Lumia. A new kind of colour, shimmering, warm, glossy, amazing, just like you. Our first brightening colour cream, Garnier Lumia. Discover the light. Oh, hi, Green. So thanks a lot for coming on to do the show. Oh, anything for you, Hansel. All right. I thought we'd start by asking you about your new autobiography, Sweet on the Inside. And I'll tell you about the critics. They love it. And then we'll talk about your upcoming movie. I play myself. It's a great part. I got a big part for you. In commercials? I don't think so. Yeah. That'll kill your career. If you're a full-time student, slap a TransLink Travel Save stamp on your international student identity card. You'll save loads on City Bus, Northern Ireland Railways, and Ulster Bus journeys. So remember, for cheaper bus and rail travel, slap a stamp on. It is virtually impossible to drive a Fiesta without appreciating the incredibly smooth ride and secure handling. And the reality is, as the Ford Fiesta costs from just 6995 with low rate finance available and a three year warranty, they're now better value than ever. Ford demands a closer look. Uh, how's your mum and dad? I moved out last month. Hmm. How's the lovely Rachel? Oh, Rachel is now Tara. Oh. Ah, oh, thanks. Charles' grandma. Where is she? Grandma. Grandma's moved in with Derek from the bridge club.
for the Irish in New York, the world has changed. I've seen a form of selflessness that I've never experienced before. But what does a global war against terrorism mean for us? Insight reports from New York with analysis from Washington and Belfast. Tuesday, after News at 10. Military build-up continues as Bush rallies support. New York search brings anguish for British relatives. And injured Owen set to miss World Cup qualifier. From ITN, the ITV Weekend News with Mary Nightingale. Good evening. More American and British firepower is on its way to the Gulf tonight as preparations for strikes against Arab terrorists intensify. President Bush has spent the day at Camp David finalizing plans for military action. In a radio address, he issued a rallying call saying no terrorist would ever be able to decide America's fate. John Draper has the latest. More transport planes carrying U.S. troops backed up by helicopters and other equipment have been pouring into this American base in the Gulf state of Bahrain. It will play a key role in any attacks on Afghanistan. In Guam and the Pacific, American forces have been redeployed at the huge Anderson Air Force Base. While back in the United States, there's been increased movement of Army, Air Force and Navy personnel and checking and rechecking of equipment. The forces are in a high state of readiness. What they're waiting for is word from the president. Mr. Bush brought his war cabinet together at Camp David today for a teleconference with security officials. Earlier in a radio address, he didn't mention military action, but it was implied. I want to thank America for their strong will. And I want to remind the people of America we're still the greatest nation on the face of the earth. And no terrorist will ever be able to decide our fate. The military build-up in the Gulf gives the U.S. a range of options. They've got substantial force there. Obviously, they, they need a fighter aircraft that operate from, from the carriers. And equally, they have uh, air uh, sea launch cruise missiles that can go all the way into Afghanistan if necessary. The 13 Royal Navy ships heading for the Gulf have passed through the Suez Canal. The convoy had been scheduled to take part in military manoeuvres. Officially, that's still the objective, though these British servicemen may now be involved in an actual conflict. As Pakistani troops on the southern border with Afghanistan were being reinforced, there were reports tonight of US planes landing in Uzbekistan to the north. Elsewhere in Pakistan, protesters took to the streets yet again to oppose the involvement of their country in US action in Afghanistan. And in London, several thousand demonstrators joined a rally at Downing Street against Britain taking part in U.S.-led attacks. John Draper, ITN. In New York, the search for survivors of last week's attacks is continuing with little sign of success. For relatives of missing Britons, watching the rubble being sifted is a harrowing process, made more painful by the knowledge of how their loved ones died. Mark Austin reports. Deep within the wreckage of the World Trade Center, these are the last pockets of hope. The voids and holes in which it's just possible, according to New York's mayor, that people could still be alive. But realistically, almost everyone has given up hope, including Britain Keith Thompson, whose brother Ian is missing, and who's in New York to see for himself the scene of the disaster. Uh, I haven't had uh, any hope, uh, really, uh, since I saw Tower One come down on the television. But it brings home the enormity of it all when you see, even now, so many days after the event, that it's still smoking and there are teams of men and equipment still going in and coming out. And you have to realize that, you know, you're not going to walk away from something like that. Not this late. My brother didn't die in an accident. Uh, he didn't die naturally. He was murdered. And that's how I have come to terms with it. There's a hero If you look inside your heart you And last night here, an extraordinary television event. The world's top singers performing live in a telethon broadcast to more than 150 countries, all to raise money for the families of the victims. Hollywood stars manned the phones, talking to callers and taking donations. 
and paying emotional tribute to New York's rescue heroes. They took him to St. Peter's Church and laid him at the altar tenderly. And then they went back to ground zero and did their work. Because that's what firefighters do. And Muhammad Ali speaking despite Parkinson's disease on behalf of Muslims. Islam is peace against killing, murder, and the terrorists and the people doing that in the name of Islam of our own. Tomorrow, attention turns from fundraising for the bereaved to mourning the dead. There will be special church services held across America. And here in New York, at the Yankee Stadium, more than 60,000 people, mainly relatives of the dead, will join together in prayer. Mark Austin, ITN, New York. Here, thousands of extra police officers have been on the streets as security has stepped up right across the country. Tonight, detectives are still questioning three people arrested in connection with the terrorist attacks on America. Here's Terry Lloyd. As police around the country moved onto a heightened state of alert, armed officers raided this house in Birmingham and arrested a 40-year-old suspect. A silver BMW car with its number plate covered was taken away by police for forensic examination. A briefcase and bags of paperwork and clothing were also removed from the house, which according to neighbours was owned by a Muslim family. Three other people were taken to this high security police station in London for questioning. Tonight one man was released without charge. In the capital, 1,500 extra police began patrolling the streets amid fears that London could become the next target for terrorists. Police admit their role has changed over the past 11 days. The terrorist threat has obviously changed for the whole of the world following those dreadful events uh, in New York. And, and we have put our plans in place to deal with any other threats that might, uh, might be targeted on the capital. Detectives have been liaising with FBI agents who say that known terrorists have been operating in Britain. It's not just that police are convinced some of the hijackers passed through London on their way to America last week, but that cash used to fund and aid the terrorists may have been channeled through this country. And police hope their presence will deter more attacks on innocent Asian families. Terry Lloyd, ITN. To other news now, and in the next hour, power will be restored to Northern Ireland's devolved assembly. The move was announced by the Northern Ireland Secretary, John Reid. It will give the province's political parties another six weeks to try to resolve their differences over decommissioning terrorist weapons. Football and Michael Owen could miss England's crucial World Cup qualifier against Greece next month. He pulled a hamstring near the end of Liverpool's game with Tottenham this afternoon. Felicity Barr has more. Michael Owen had been rested for most of the match, coming on as a substitute in the second half. Showing his customary pace and skill, he chased a ball and shot wide, but then collapsed. It was clearly more than a minor injury, and the striker knew he was now almost certain to miss England's crucial World Cup qualifier against Greece next month. He's likely to be out for at least three weeks. But unfortunately, uh, uh, he, he damaged his armstring and... Uh, this is one of our major concern today is the fact that he will be out for a certain time. Owen will have a scan tomorrow to see how bad the damage is. The 21-year-old's only recently returned to world-class form after suffering a string of injuries. Both England and Liverpool hope he won't be on crutches for long. Felicity Barr, ITN Sport. Well, the Liverpool-Tottenham match was part of a full Premiership programme this afternoon. There are highlights of all those games here on ITV1 tonight at 5 to 12. So if you don't want to know the results, look away now. In the Scottish Premier League, Rangers made sure they stayed within sight of leaders Celtic by thrashing Dundee United 6-1. Rangers took the lead after just two minutes when Torre Andre Flo forced an own goal from Jamie Buchan. Flo later scored twice himself before clinching a hat-trick ten minutes from the end. A reminder of tonight's main news, more American and British firepower is on its way to the Gulf as preparations for strikes against Arab terrorists intensify. And that's it for tonight. I'm back with the ITV Weekend News tomorrow. For more of us here, bye-bye.
power gen, gas, electricity and telephone. Hello, good evening. Well, it turned out quite warm in some of the sunnier slots today. I'm afraid tomorrow won't be anything like as good. If we turn to our Met Office satellite sequence, we can pick up on the reason why. We have a swirl of low pressure there. That brought rain to Denmark during today. Now, overnight, that crosses the North Sea with wind and rain reserved for England tomorrow. We're not the only ones. We see an area of low pressure down there over Spain. And over the next 24 hours or so, that brings rain into Italy and across the Alps as well. Now back home tonight and in westernmost areas, under clear skies, we see some patchy mist and fog developing. No such problems further east, a blanket of cloud here with some patchy rain. Now we go into tomorrow morning then on a fairly grey note. Out to the west for Northern Ireland and West Wales, we see the skies brightening, some sunshine coming through, but cloud and rain from the word go further east and some of those showers will be really heavy, even the odd rumble of thunder thrown in for good measure as well. So with our temperatures in the southeast with a gusty northeasterly wind, feeling rather cool, but further west for Northern Ireland and West Wales, we maintain a high of 17, 63 in Fahrenheit. Here's the summary. Power gen. Gas, electricity and telephone. A wet and windy day in Emmerdale. To celebrate the launch of an Emmerdale fan club in our part of the world, we've got three pairs of tickets to give away for an exclusive Emmerdale fan weekend in January. This really unique prize includes return flights, accommodation, the chance to meet the Emmerdale stars at a gala dinner attended by all the cast, as well as the opportunity to see the Emmerdale set, right where they film the program. To enter, all you have to do is answer the following question. What is the name of the pub in Emmerdale? Is it A, the cotton pack, B, the wool pack, or C, the linen pack? So dial 0901566566 in the Republic of Ireland, dial 1550718700. Lines are open now. You could be standing right here on the Emmerdale set after hobnobbing with the stars. And don't forget you can also enter this Emmerdale competition via the UTV website. A-level failure or pop idol, you decide. I'll take those. Oi! Here you go. Clear off. 74 packets of Walker's Crisp, please. Walker's money bags are back. See if you can get your hands on a £20 note. Right, come on, Big Dave. Let's get some tuck. Let's get this huge King Pop noodle snack. It's not all for me. Big Dave's sharing it. Big Dave, it's trouble. A whole King Pop noodle? You fat bloater. Sweets. Big Dave had some too. Whatever. Coming to bed. Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes. Irresistibly delicious honey nuttiness. So tempting. You just have to give in to them. Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Corn Flakes. The trouble is, they taste too good. To help clean your teeth thoroughly, you could use one brush with cross-active bristles, one with a flexible tip, and one with a flexible neck. Or, you could use one that has it all. Introducing three toothbrushes in one, the new Aquafresh Max Active. With cross-active bristles to loosen and sweep away plaque, a flexible tip to get behind back teeth, and a flexible neck that's gentle on gums. The new Aquafresh Max Active. Three toothbrushes in one for whole mouth protection. What are you playing at, you idiot? You're our new international striker! Five nil down, and it's only half time! Oh, ghost, ah! not me. Something's missing. I know that. There's no talent, commitment, skill. No, 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 not that. How can I score? We have nothing ah! on the field. No one's feeding from the left, no one's feeding from the right. Mm, speak English, man! Goat, we need wingers. Okay, before the second half, we'll all drink Red Bull. Why is that? Red Bull gives you wings! Oh, yeah. 
Marilyn, let's get it on the spot. Remember what Brandon told you. Where's he gonna go? Where's he gonna go? Watch his eyes. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go that way. No. Oh, it's a goal. Well done. Yes. Yeah. Nil to me. Good to you. You're only grumpy because I beat you. Cheeky monkey. Buy a van from a Volkswagen van center and we'll make sure you get more out of it. Contact your nearest van center and get more out of your van. Lady Penelope, make your way to Tracy Island. Parker, we've been clamped for failure to pay road tax. It won't happen again, my lady. You're so right, Parker. Don't slouch, Parker. No, my lady. The government is clamping down on road tax dodgers in your area now. No exceptions, no excuses, no escape. When Kelly started on UTV back in 1989, most of us, myself included, had no idea what the internet was all about. Well, how things have changed, and we've all had to move with the times. So much so that on Wednesday the 26th of September, I'll be going online live for a chat with you. So why not log on to utv.co.uk or utv.ie and have a chat with me between the hours of 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock on Wednesday the 26th of September. As we join the sketch show, a reminder that due to an overrun on tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire programs here on UTV are currently running 12 minutes later than advertised.